Hey, what's up, guy here? Hey, you guys are going to want to stay tuned and watch this entire video. I've got a lot of rare stuff I'm going to be showing, stuff from my personal collection, stuff from one of my many Elvis scrapbooks and rare articles, including one where Elvis burps on stage. I'm going to show you a couple of my son records and actually play one of them. Uh, and some memorabilia that I have, personal memorabilia. Uh, me in a, in a talent show in 1976, uh, performing as Elvis and a telegram that I sent Elvis's father back in 1978 on the one year anniversary of Elvis's death. So anyway, stay tuned. There's a lot of cool stuff on here and there's even more stuff than I just mentioned. But um, anyway, watch the whole thing and there's a couple other surprises in here and the shit starts now. All right, coming up right now, the rare uh, scrapbook I'm gonna show you. This is one of many scrapbooks I have, but hey, there's some rare articles in this scrapbook, so stay tuned, it's coming up right now. Uh, one here, $24,000 worth of Elvis and Bedlam. And this is Elvis at the uh, Mississippi Alabama Fair in Tupelo, okay? This is kind of interesting. Burps, a burp adds to act and 12,000 scream and cry. So apparently Elvis uh, had burped during the show. And uh, anyway, uh, maybe you can freeze frame some of this stuff and, and read it. A lot of these I haven't even never even read. Uh, this particular one is from 1970. Early uh, Presley pressings are still listenable. That's interesting. Um, Elvis went to the motor pool after Army decided he could recruit only girls. Elvis uh, Presley Special will be beamed into Far East. So they're reporting in November of 72 that Elvis is going to do the what would be later called the uh, Aloha from Hawaii Special. Uh, let's see here. Papa Elvis. Oh, this is talking about Lisa Marie. All right, a couple calendar cards. Elvis Man of the Year. Elvis quits Germany today for Army Discharge. This must be from the early, set, uh, maybe 70, uh, top grocer from Rags to Riches in only 10 years. So this is a 1966 article. Wow. This goes into some army stuff. There he is pulling a girl's pigtail. Private Elvis tugged at the ponytail hairdo of Mary Ellen Febo. Uh, teenage journalist. Okay. All right. I thought this was interesting. Elvis won't sell house to Jerry Lewis. So apparently Jerry uh, Lee Lewis was interested in Graceland. I have not read this. Uh, Elvis to be in a charity show at Crump Stadium this fall. Uh, Elvis given job as scout, jeep, driver, and army. I thought this was interesting. Girls State wants singer at Jackson today, and they wanted him to do some kind of concert and talking about Colonel Parker said that it couldn't happen and there was some kind of protest. Elvis is going to Texas to get training. Uh, talking about Army Life. Elvis is now going steady with uh, Anita Wood. Private Press is going to Texas for training. Now we're jumping up. Uh, into the 70s with uh, Linda Thompson with her Miss uh, Tennessee uh, title. All right. Okay, I'm not going to read all these. My Elvis is still packing them in. Uh, apparently it's from 76 or later. Uh, 
song. Here's some ministers looking at Elvis' song, Life, which came in the early 70s. Uh, Elvis, sorry about that. Uh, foot, soldier, returns home. With Elvis and Army proud of his record as a soldier. Uh, some more detailed information. Okay, what Elvis does when he's off duty in Germany. Elvis sleeps, his fans bait beneath a sweltering sun. I thought this was interesting. If Elvis goes overseas, his mom will go too. So that little timeline, uh, the small little window of time that this was written before she got sick and passed away and before he went to Germany. Uh, Elvis Presley's grandfather, 62-year-old Jesse Presley, holds a contract he signed in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, for him to record an album of songs he learned when he was a young cotton picker. Wow. I don't know if I've ever seen that album. It Elvis Gladden hair oil industry. All right, coming up right now are the rare Sun Records I have. Two of the records I have, uh, Sun Records. I'm going to show them both to you, and I'm going to attempt to play one of them. They're coming up right now. Here's the Sun record, as you can see, it's chipped right there. But this is the first time I've attempted to play it. Let's see what happens. Don't want to play it on the chip. Gotta be careful not to mess my needle up. All right, Elvis Cup guy here. Hey, stay tuned. A lot more stuff is coming up next. Okay, what I'm going to show you now are two pieces of memorabilia from my personal collection, and both are, of course, Elvis related, and they're directly tied to me. The first thing I'm going to show you is a program from 1976 when I was in a school talent show, and of course, I performed as Elvis, 1976, when I was uh, 12 years old. And the other thing I'm going to show you, coming up right now, is a damn telegram I sent Elvis's dad, Vernon Presley, um, August 16th, 1978, marking the one year anniversary of uh, his son's uh, death, Elvis Presley, and I offer my condolences in a Western Union telegram. So anyway, both those things are coming up right now. First thing I've got is a program from 1976, and it's from a talent show, the Razzle Dazzle Review. Freshman, sophomore class, or classes present and this is from my school and just to show you what's on here 
real quick kind of dates it you see freshman sophomore grade five grade one sophomore uh fox on the run you know song by sweet uh, i remember people played piano all that kind of stuff and then you get to the second page there's intermission notice it says elvis right here well that's me the elvis cup guy grade six i was 11 or 12 i think i was 12 this was closer at, well this was after my birthday so i actually performed two elvis songs uh in the talent show or the variety show we had i remember i did uh i, I mimicked them or mime to them and one was jailhouse rock and it was just the regular single jailhouse rock uh, i think i had the gold standard the red rca gold standard 45 and they they played that and then they took that record off and then i did uh the version of hound dog i kind of mimed to that from the as recorded uh live at master square garden album and i think i rented i know i rented a uh kind of gold sequiny jacket and uh, a cape like a prince type uh, like from a Cinderella or like Robin Hood some kind of cape that had that was gold looking but I put those together and I think we had some uh, pants uh, white pants we put some sequins on because really at that time 1976 there weren't uh, any Elvis jumpsuits people had to if you did this you had to, I guess make one so I don't know if I was one of the first Elvis impersonators but I can tell you that in 1976 when I was 12 years old I did two Elvis songs on stage uh, trying to be Elvis and then close it out somebody did boogie fever and I noticed here on the back, they closed it out with, uh, I remember these guys, they were seniors, they did KISS. So there you go. I, I actually did an Elvis impersonation in 1976 when I was 12 in the 6th grade. Now, the other thing that I've got is... A confirmation uh, telegram, mailgram, Western Union. Uh, this was sent August 15th, 1978. And there's the address. But anyway, you can see the date there. I had a paper route and I would saved up some money. And I wanted to send Elvis's dad a telegram of condolences over the year anniversary of Elvis's death. So you can see, uh, let me see the time here, 8.15, no, excuse me, I mean, it was on 8.15, 1978, uh, at 8.10 p.m. to Vernon Presley, Graceland Mansion, keep alive memories of Elvis, he still lives in both our hearts. I remember they did charge by the word, and if you went over a certain amount, it, it, it jumped up. So I think I spent a little while coming up with that, but as you can see, there's my name and address. It's okay to show this address because nobody lives there anymore. I don't think the house is even there. Uh, but anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. There's the back of it, but that just kind of shows you guys I've been an Elvis fan for a long time uh, like I said 12 years old that's going back pretty far performing Elvis on stage while he was still alive now understand he wasn't dead he was alive in uh, 76 and I did that and then you know I kind of thought enough of Elvis to actually save up money and send his dad, Vernon, a telegram uh, on the anniversary of his death. So I thought you guys would enjoy that.
All right, hey, special bonus for you guys here at the very end of this video, unexpected bonus. I'm gonna show you two magazine articles from early 2005. One is Time Magazine and one is uh, Newsweek Magazine. And they both feature articles on me, uh, Wade, and the Elvis Cup and the Elvis Cup water auctions that I had on eBay. So anyway, like I said, thank you for watching this whole damn video and special bonus for you guys that stuck it out. The two articles uh, explaining the, the very beginnings of the Elvis Cup and the Elvis Cup guy, myself, coming up right now. This video is about uh, when my Elvis eBay auction was featured in both Time Magazine and Newsweek Magazine. So let me show you the cover of the Time Magazine first. It's dated January 10th, 2005. Time Magazine. And when you, let me zoom in on the date again. You open it up. And it talks about people in the news. George Carlin, Jeremy Irons, Jennifer Lopez, and this little article here, Elvis scores another hit, and you can read that. It seems no relic associated with Elvis Presley. It's too trivial to fetch a bundle, a North Carolina man. Last week collected $455 of actual E auctioning off three tablespoons of water he claims once occupied a cup from which elvis drank while performing wade jones says that after an elvis concert and you can read the rest uh jones was so pleased with the financial results that he has put the actual chalice which takes form of a plastic foam cup on offer top bidders will not will not only get to own the cup merely earn the privilege to visit and admire it in person so that's the uh Time Magazine article from January 10th, 2005. And then January 10th, the same day, uh, 2005, Newsweek. And if you open the Newsweek up under perspectives, it talks about various things going on in the news, editorials. But there's a quote from me. January 10th, 2005. I promise this thing is 100% legitimate. Wade Jones, after selling a few tablespoons of water from a cup, he says Elvis drank from during a 1977 concert. Jones got $455. So that was kind of the beginning of my Elvis Cup stuff. But as you can see, at the time I got a lot of coverage. It was in Time Magazine and in Newsweek on the same day. And a few days later, I'll do another video on this. It was in uh, USA Today, Rolling Stone, and it was in, uh, wow, Reader's Digest, Vanity Fair, uh, a bunch of others. But anyway, I thought you'd enjoy that. So the Elvis Cup guy and Jenny Presley want to say thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. I hope you enjoy the channel.